so we have a channel song and it's so crazy because i think i channeled this song or did i i don't think i even, i think it might have even just came out in the songs in another reading but it's the bryson tiller overtime i've been working for it putting in overtime putting in overtime I've been, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody been putting in that work, working overtime. We finna see what they've been putting in that work, working overtime for. What's the overtime for? Somebody been putting in that work. Elohim, what has somebody been putting in that work for? What's somebody been working overtime, putting in that work for? Ooh, somebody been working for the most high. I've been working for it, putting in overtime, putting in over. I've been, somebody been committed. Somebody could have been, been, been sharing knowledge, sharing beliefs, um, working on their independence, their abundance, getting rewards through their hard work, being mature. Something is turning into profit. We have success and independence. So somebody been, somebody been, uh, somebody been working hard for the most high, having a hope and a faith, healing, positivity. Somebody been, been being creative too as well within it. Somebody's spirituality has even been renewed. They've been working hard in that. I've been working for it, putting in overtime. Yeah, somebody sprung into action, Knight of Swords. Queen of Cups. This night, this Queen of Cups. Somebody could be a healer. Somebody's emotionally mature, nurturing, comforting. Somebody could be an intellectual. You know, direct, stand their ground, defend their beliefs. Somebody's very focused. I've been working for it. Putting in overtime, putting in over. So, somebody been working hard for the most high or even working hard to be close to the most high. Somebody been doing all of that, healing all of that. Look, balance. Somebody has a harmonious relationship. Peace, balance, a harmonious relationship with the most high, temperance. Someone is angelic. Or high, or has a higher form of relationship. Somebody reconciled and reunited with the Most High, Six of Cups. Somebody was homesick. Somebody got their innocence back. Somebody is the child of the Most High. Look, we got the Three of Cups. Them and the Most High celebrating this reunion. Somebody has a friendship with the Most High as well. Somebody put in that work. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> That's what you put in the work for. <laughs> That's what you put in the work for. Somebody put in that work. Somebody was, look, we got the split in the deck, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is loyal to the Most High. Somebody been building. Somebody is committed. Somebody learns from the most high. Somebody has had high productivity and achievement. Somebody's standards has been raised. Somebody is const somebody is concentrated on the most high. Confident in them. Ambitious. This is a relationship of quality. And it's split in the deck. We have the Queen of Cups again. And then we have the Eight of Wands movement. This person made a quick decision. This person could be infatuated with the Most High. This person has made a lot of progress quickly too as well. This person communicates with the Most High. And we got the Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands after that. The Moon and the Nine of Pentacles, the Word, because that Word is the abundance. Somebody follow their intuition. Somebody could have even, um, 
Somebody even carries secrets. Somebody knows secrets. The most high could have took this person's insecurities and anxiety and things of that nature and turned it into abundance, prosperity. That's that love. And this person loved the most high. Coming out as the queen of cups with a higher form. <laughs> and then we got the ten of cups. So this person has complete joy and fulfillment. You know, true happiness. Things that are true. This person's dreams is going to come true or is coming true. In the six of wands, this person has the victory. This person is recognized by the most high. This spotlight that this card speaks of, that is the most high putting the spotlight on this individual here. And that's the most high gifted this person. The most high gifts this person, is generous to this person, supports this person, rewards this person. This person shows gratitude and kindness. This person is fair. The most high balances things for this person. This is a, a relationship of reciprocity. This person gives to the most high and the most high gives to this person. That's beautiful. This person is enlightened. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is beautiful. So you can have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, or Taurus in your chart. The teamwork. And then 33. And you know that's the 33 Ooh, and 333. Thirty-three. That's Yahshua. Somebody can have that type of knowledge too, as well. The five represents spirit, Yahweh, on his higher front card. The six of cups, and that six represents man. So man reconciling with spirit. And then we got the temperance, which is 14. 7 plus 7, that's 14. 7, perfection in the spirit. Because that's he that's within you. And then that other 7 is him perfecting you. Somebody is expanding and moving forward. Somebody got their freedom. And somebody works with the most high. That's who they're collaborated with. That's who they learn from. That's who they're committed to. That's who they study. We have apprenticeship. That's who they dedicated to. This person pays attention to detail. This person is in alignment with their values and their beliefs. This person is moving forward. This person has grown. And this is very beautiful. Like, shots out to you. I've been working for it. Putting in overtime. Putting in overtime. Working overtime. Yeah, somebody has found their inner strength and courage. The strength card, they usually have like the lion and the lamb on it. Somebody is infinite. Um, somebody is abundant in strength. Somebody has overcame self-doubt through the most high. Look, seven of pentacles, hard work paying off. I'm going to put this out here because that's what, that's, that's what we talking about. Somebody put in the efforts and it's return on them investments. Things are coming into fruition for this individual. Whatever this person in the most high has cultivated, there will be results. And this is judgment here. Somebody has been rejuvenated. And that reconciliation did happen. Somebody has even been forgiven by the most high. Somebody also looked at their self. And then that reflection that talks of being a mirror. This is beautiful. And somebody made this decision to have this too.
Somebody is at one with the most high. And then we have here the four of wands and the knight of wands. Somebody is committed. Look, community spirit. Somebody is a part of the spiritual community here. Somebody is home. And they celebrate this. That's where they lay down their roots. And my eyes is welling up. We have somebody here. Somebody is a free spirit. Somebody took the risk. Whoever you are, you did a beautiful thing. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Somebody's a sun. Judgment, the sun. Love, peace, joy, confidence, happiness, and truth. Everything true. Being open, healing, receiving clarity. You are family. This is your family. Four of wands, two of cups, eight of pentacles. King of Wands, because the Most High is that leader. And he is the one in control. And he is the one that's loyal, passionate, bold, noble, daring, fearless, experienced. And this is who this individual is committed to and partnered up with in balance and harmony with. Mutual respect and connection. beautiful what a beauty Yeah, somebody persevered. Went from being not able to see to springing into action to being free through spiritual guidance. Being led. And what's so cute even about this, somebody ain't even realize that that action and everything that they did Set them free and they did it. Somebody chose to blind faith. Walk by faith and not by sight. And they took action on the spiritual guidance that they received. Somebody took a, a, a wonderful, a beautiful risk. Somebody has the Midas. Somebody is a Midas, miser. Somebody has an entrepreneur or creative ability to turn anything into gold. Somebody got the Midas touch. Somebody delights in sharing life riches. Again, somebody is a knight. Someone has loyalty. Somebody has a love of honor. Someone is a knight. We have romance here. Also, we have prostitute at the top, so somebody doesn't negotiate their spirit. They cannot be bought. This is who they with. Somebody is also a liberator. 
It says freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negativity in patterns. So being it the most high liberated this person, in turn, this person liberates others. And then that person got on a white, that person got on a, uh, on white. So this person has been purified. This person is a guide, represents the nature of the divine and life in, in yourself. We have the exorcist, freeing yourself and others from destructive impulses. We have a hedonist here. Inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life. Celebrates the beauty in yourself. Somebody is an avenger. The desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society and oneself. Somebody is child nature. Somebody is even had somebody even has friendship with animals. Somebody can communicate with nature spirits too as well. <laughs> we have hero heroine. Somebody is has a passion for a journey of personal empowerment. We have the Messiah, which is the sun. Being a son, becoming a son, that's what you should strive for. Serving humanity with humility. Somebody is a Deliante. Delights in the arts without having to be professional. Alerts you to the dangers of becoming superficial in your pursuits. Somebody is a king. Enlightened, beloved leadership. Benefiting those in your charge. Somebody is an avenger. Again, the desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. Someone is a shapeshifter and a pioneer. Somebody has a skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness. The ability to see potential in everything. Someone is a pioneer. Passion for doing and creating what has not been yet done before. Somebody is a Samaritan. Refines your capacity to help those who you would prefer to ignore. So even the people they prefer to ignore or whatever the case may be, they still put their ego in check in a side and still helps those individuals somebody is a priest facilitates spiritual com uh, commitments serves as a channel of spiritual energy so somebody is an open channel f for um, the most high it says here awakens Awakens consideration for feelings of others honoring trust with the gossip here. Somebody is a goddess. The feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. So you could either you could be a masculine or you could be a feminine. And you could be a king, you know, uh, what's that remind me of? Like the woman king. You can have that energy or you could be a masculine. You could be a priest or a priestess. But you did it. You form that relationship with the most high. Or you could even be have a balance between both the masculine and the feminine too as well here. Somebody could be a goddess warrior energy and a, a visionary here. A mother. Somebody is child eternal. 
We have virgin split in the deck, maintaining a symbolic purity of heart and spirit. Somebody is a healer. Passion to serve others by repairing body, mind, and spirit. The ability to help transform pain into healing here. Look, just wanted to come out. Somebody is a goddess, warrior, visionary, mother, mentor. We have trickster here. So transcending convention stuffiness and predictable behavior so somebody can see through trickster spirits too as well we have the gambler the willingness to follow your intuition even when others doubt you so somebody follows their inner guy that inner man somebody follows the high priest within them we have victim prevent you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others we have a mentor some passing on wisdom in refining a student's character mother nurturance Patience, unconditional love, joy in giving, birth to life, a visionary, the capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others, the willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. We have warrior, strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will, heroism, stockism, and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego. What I was just saying about that ego. We have the goddess here. The feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. So this is very beautiful. Very beautiful read. I'm going to pull a few of these. And then we're going to pull from the thank you deck. And then we're going to pull from the um, we're gonna pull from the Grateful Heart deck because this is something to be extremely grateful for, extremely um, thankful for, you know, because we don't save ourselves. You know, it's a gift. It's mercy. It's grace. We have justice here. Goddess energy. Somebody is protected. Somebody sees the miracles and codes in nature. Justice yet again. This is. And I don't know why Wale just ran across my mind. Listen to that Wale 11111. But 1111 is significant. We have justice twice out here. Clarity. That someone sees the uh, codes of nature. Somebody is very balanced. The will of fortune is in someone's favor. We have gratitude. Somebody is very thankful uh, and shows much gratitude here. And somebody has been enhanced. We have celebration on enhancement. We have the aura. Somebody has the aura of truth and love. Someone was crystallized. Crystal technology. Somebody was initiated to being a divine feminine through this union here. Somebody remembered. We have wisdom, witch doctor, high priest, and then we have ego death. And right after that is creation partner, balanced through the chaos. Somebody has unconditional love. Somebody is the blueprint. Somebody holds the vision, someone pays attention. We have sorcery and revolution. Somebody has evolved. Again, unconditional love, the blueprint is right at the top, the heart. Cloud meditation, someone receives messages from the cloud. Someone looks up to Yahweh. We have peace. Somebody has created peace here.
Someone had a death. Someone could be glammed out here. We have spirit act. Uh, somebody even could have made an offering on this individual to try to glam them. But spirit acted upon this too for this individual. Yep. And brought balance to the chaos. Yep. It's already happened. Gratitude rampage. Something to be very thankful for. We have guidance and channel right after that. So this person is, um, is a guide and receives guidance as well. I can. This person knows that they can. And this person knew that they can and they got initiated. The hangman. Somebody got enlightened. And somebody is beyond. Somebody is a great diviner. <laughs> somebody holds the keys. This high priestess has the wisdom of beyond. Anything else? Yeah, somebody hopped on the chariot here. Somebody is gaining a victory. And it's balanced through their dark and their light here. We have karma. This is somebody's judgment here. To have bliss. We have the world. That is somebody's judgment. Being at one here. Temperance. And then look at this angel in the judgment card here. Somebody uh, has healed, has gotten healed, and somebody can be angelic. We have the temperance angel. Yes, yeah, somebody is universal one, and somebody has transcended and is one. Somebody has changed, and we somebody conjured up their legacy here. Somebody has changed, and somebody is infinite and one with the universe, one with the Most High Yahweh, and it's infinite, eternal. Somebody is a divine feminine. This is a goddess. Even though the king and things of this nature was coming out, that's because this person balances both masculine and feminine. This is a one-man circus, I guess, here. We have creation solo, but it's even though you may see this person just, you know, physically... This person is not alone. This person has the most high. And also this person let go of doing things just by themselves. And that's how they partnered up with the most high as well and received his spiritual guidance and restoration. The star they trusted and had bliss, which caused that ego death too as well here. And they have compassion. Yep, this person is a wizard. This person has balance. And this person is family. This person united with their family, which is spiritually. So this is beautiful. So I'm going to pull some thank you messages and some grateful heart messages. Because it's always something to be thankful for. And this is definitely something to strive for. Even if this isn't you. Can we have some thank yous? What does this individual thank you for? Thank you for all the blessings, Yahweh. What is this individual thankful for? Elohim? What is this individual thankful for? Elohim? Last shuffle. Okay. So, this individual says, Thank you for letting me know who I am in you, Yahweh. So this individual is thankful that they get the Most High Yahweh let them know who they were in Him. Thank you for loving me in spite of me, Yahweh. Thank you for seeing me, Yahweh. Thank you for your sacrifice, Yahweh. Thank you for teaching me, Yahweh. 
Thank you for life and letting me be a part of your story, Yahweh. Thank you for never leaving my side, Yahweh. Thank you for being my mother and father, Yahweh. Thank you for your unconditional love, Yahweh. Thank you for saving me, Yahweh. Thank you for an abundance of love, Yahweh. Thank you for choosing me, Yahweh. Thank you for your song, Yahweh. Thank you for igniting that flame passion, Yahweh. Thank you for seeing me when I couldn't see myself, Yahweh. Thank you for your light, Yahweh. And thank you for your word. So that's a blessing. This reading is a big blessing. And it's just slid out off the top. So this is this is um a message. All that other shit don't matter. Soul, spirit, and character matters. Don't be fooled by status, money, and looks. It's an illusion. So that is a message to be had for everyone. And that flew right on my lap. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for and especially this bless this it's a big blessing right here and i just seen 31 33 on the clock three for these three or one one thirty three is being a part of the brotherhood being a son being part of that spiritual family Of course, 33 representing Gosh. Okay. Can we get another Grateful Heart message, please? Thank you. Can we get one more, please? Or two. Thank you. So... It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares Yahweh, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Ooh, look. Ooh, look. Ooh, look. <laughs> for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a gift from Yahweh. Just like I said, Joe, telling you, that's that confirmation. Be happy, yes, leap for joy, for a great reward awaits you in heaven. Carpe diem, rejoice while you are alive. Enjoy the day. Live life to the fullest. Make the most of what you have. This is the day Yahweh has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The word of Yahweh is right and true. His, he is faithful in all he does. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. So I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Please like, share, and subscribe. Even if it doesn't, you know, resonate with you, maybe share it with someone else. It can resonate with them, or it can be something that they inspire to have. Or even if this isn't for you, this could be something that you inspire to have in a relationship that you, you know, inspire to have because it's a great reward. Um, you see it coming all out here too as well. And it's all true, you know, true joy, true love, true bliss, true connection. You know, with many lack and starve from in this life. So you don't want to miss out and not be able to experience such a beautiful thing, such a beauty. But again, I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Please like, share, and subscribe. Know that Yahweh loves you. And I'll see you all later. Peace.